Good day, my name is Mark McGlure. I'm an attorney here in Riverside, California. i got a number of clients from Rancho Mirage, California, dealing with construction-related issues, mechanics liens, and, and real estate. I thought it helpful to put together a brief uh, video series on mechanics liens, just so that you have some information to know what you're dealing with. If you're dealing with mechanics liens, and you're either a contractor or a homeowner or a property owner uh, dealing with a contractor, you need to first make a decision. The first question you want to ask yourself is, am I in direct contractual privity with the owner of the property? If you're a contractor and you're in direct contract with the owner, or you're a owner of the property and you're not in direct contract with a subcontractor who has filed a mechanics lien against you, you need to make sure that they have uh, sent by certified mail return receipt requested what's called a 20-day preliminary notice. It's only required for people that aren't in direct contractual privity with the owner. But assuming they're not in direct contract with you as a property owner, then you need to make sure that they've sent that certified mail return receipt requested. If they have, that is the first prerequisite to the recording of a mechanics lien. If they haven't, then if they have recorded a mechanics lien after, the mechanics lien is not valid and can be expunged from the county recorder's records by simple filing of a motion process uh, with an attorney. Now, if you've, filed a, uh, if you've mailed by certified mail return receipt a 20-day preliminary notice, you're not in direct contractual privity with the owner of the property, and now you want to record a mechanics lien, you can record that mechanics lien. But the question you must ask yourself, whether a property owner or a mechanic or contractor, is has 90 days elapsed since the recording of that mechanics lien with the county recorder's office? If so, the mechanics lien is no longer valid. And if the project's not in continuing, you can't re-record it. So the mechanics lien is of no further force and effect, and you can have it removed with that simple motion process I spoke about earlier. If it hasn't been 90 days since you recorded or you're about to record a mechanics lien, then you want to pay particular attention to the time frame after recording. After recording, you have 90 days to file an action in civil court, which is enforcing your mechanics lien rights. The failure to file that civil action or that civil lawsuit to enforce your mechanics lien rights voids the mechanics lien as a matter of law. So those are some of the key things you want to pay particular attention to. If you have any questions or some particular circumstances you want to speak with, feel free to give me a call and I'd be happy to speak with you about those.